In this video, I would like to talk about two new features for interacting with Windows with respect to mouse and keyboard focus uh, and multiple windows. In multiple windowing systems, we typically have two input devices, the mouse and the keyboard. But in a multi multiple windowing system, it's not always clear which window or pane within a window will get keyboard input. The Squeak has currently two settings relative to this, uh, which are called Mouse Over for Keyboard Focus and Window Active on First Click. Mouse Over for Keyboard Focus, when it's turned off, means that anywhere that you want to have keyboard input, you simply click there. So if I want to provide input to this pane, I click in that pane. And if I want to have input in this pane, right now it doesn't have input. If I click there, it does have input. This is very useful except for when uh, maybe in a multiple windowing system you have multiple windows and you want to, whoops, I wanted to open up the browser on click exerciser so I you tried to use the hotkey but I have to click it first and that caused it to be deselected. So by tying input together with where you want focus to be you can only ha you get both at the same time and you may not want both. You may only want to change focus or you may only want to change the Z order of the windows which leads me to this other feature window active on first click. Now when I want to change the Z order of the windows I don't have to worry about where do I click. Any click in a background window will cause its uh, the window only to come to the top to become the active window. There are, there are two exceptions to that, the, the close button and the minimize button. This is a hard-coded behavior in uh, traditional squeak and I, my guess is it's to allow easier way to make windows go away. You can click them that way or, or minimize them. Um, however, another way to, to do that is to honor desktop keys and if mouse over for keyboard focus was on then you wouldn't even have to click in the desktop before you could use the hotkey you could simply be anywhere and press the command key command W to close the window so like I, I browse this okay I'm done bye and I wanna see senders okay thanks bye and I don't have to click the little I don't have to aim for this that's really nice Window active on first click, that allows you to have windows that are sort of active all the time so that um, you, when you make a click, it binds the, the changing of the Z order with input on the window. So as I click a, you know, another thing, and not only does it up the Z order, but it provides input to the window. Now I want to talk about the two new features. It's called Focus Follows Mouse. and Windows Raise on Click. Focus Follows Mouse is similar to Mouse Over for Keyboard Focus except it extends it to background windows. So now I have keyboard here, I have keyboard here simply by arrowing in there. I'm sorry, simply by pointing the mouse pointer in there. And when this is on, fo focus follows mouse, uh, the, the background window controls honor the setting windows raise on click fully rather than the classic squeak behavior. So if windows, I'm sorry, window active on first click. So now you can't even click on the X until the windows Z order is restored until it's the active window. Windows raise on click. Now, we of course Windows raise on click, but what if that's turned off? Now I can click the background windows and have mouse input into windows which are not the active window. So I can click back here and then in that case simply to to change the Z order, you simply click anywhere in the title bar and that will adjust the Z order of the window. So that's the two new features. I think these features uh, pr provide a 
increased capability into the system because you're able to simply do an easy gesture of pointing and now you have available 104 keys on your keyboard to provide input simply by pointing to any widget you've got 104 keys here and 104 here and here and everywhere you point that's really nice you don't have to click your way through the system every excruciating step of the way like you do whenever this is these are off and this is the normal setup and to do anything you have to click first let's see that's the normal setup without focus follows mouse so I hope this was helpful in uh, understanding these two new features and why I find them very important um, they are used in operating systems like X Windows and GNOME to my knowledge I use it in my modern Ubuntu and I wanted to bring this feature to squeak because as I said the low-level gesture provides that fluid interaction with applications that is uh, much more fluid than constantly having to click. Thanks for watching.